Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Suburban Home Center, Wyoming, Arizona. It is hot outside, 100 degrees, and the wind is blowing like crazy. Well, it's not really blowing like crazy. For down here, it's blowing like crazy. But back home, you know, 50, 60 miles an hour is blowing like crazy. Here, it's like 20 miles an hour. But it makes a lot of noise with all the palm trees and all the different trees. So I am inside, I have the air conditioner off, I have the fan stopped because it makes too much noise. <laughs> it's day 10, only 10 days and we're going back home. And actually it might be even a little bit sooner than that. And that, well, not by the time we get back home, but be, by the time we leave. There's just a couple of factors, but we're thinking about we might leave a little bit early because it's supposed to be in the hundreds for days. I don't really need it to be in the hundreds for days. I love Arizona, but that is hot. Busy day today. I have been painting, 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 because when I get home, Mother's Day weekend, I am in a huge show. And so I can have nine pieces. And so I'm making glass and I'm making paintings. And so I got some of the base layers on the bird, some of the watercolors, Oh, I'm probably a third done with the radishes. The other ones are maybe a fourth done. You know, I got a long ways to go. But I bought frames today and did some running around. And Joe and I decided to go bowling this afternoon because his bowling ball was supposed to be in. I beat him again. He's not going to bowl with me until he gets that bowling ball. Because the ones at the lanes, they don't curve. And he is used to curving. And he says, now that he's older, he needs a lighter bowling ball. And so he says, the one back home is going to be too heavy. So it did come today. But by the time the guy finally got there, we didn't have enough time for them to drill the holes. I told Joe, it's probably the last time I'm beating you. So we, <laughs> we, we bowled three games while we were waiting. It was fun. And I beat him. And I didn't bowl very well today. <laughs> That made it worse, I think. But I only beat him, total, out of the three games, I only beat him by, I don't know, 20 points or something. It wasn't very much. But he doesn't like me beating him at bowling. <laughs> well, he's gone to um, karate, jujitsu tonight, and I think it's the last time he's going to go before we go back home. And he's excited about seeing all of the guys back home when uh, he does his stuff with and I'm excited about going home. Um, I am boxing up actually my entire, yeah, basically my entire art room tomorrow because I really don't, have, other than some glass, I'm gonna leave a little bit of glass out because I'm gonna fire a couple more times this week, but everything else that I'm gonna take home, I'm boxing up. And I got my paints out but I'll keep painting even while we're driving so I can get all those things done because when we stop at night at the hotels, I can paint. So that's busy. And Joe's made lists of everything we have to turn off and get disconnected and all that stuff before we go back home. But I'm excited because when we get home, my gardening starts all over again. I'll plant some seeds. Some things I'll get as seedlings just because it'll be the end of April where I would have started those way earlier. It's like gardening 365 days a year. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's good or bad. But day 10, I'm excited about going home. I talked to my, a couple of my daughters actually today and it is gonna be good to be home. Tomorrow, day nine, boxing up what I'm gonna take home. I've decided not to take any of my clothes home other than what I'll need for those few days. I got plenty of clothes at home and I'm just not gonna box any of those things up. I'm just leaving them here, you know? If I don't think I have enough clothes back home, I will go to the store. So, I am gonna see you next time. Tomorrow, actually. I planned on making tomato soup today, but I didn't have quite enough red tomatoes because I had did a platter of sliced tomatoes at Easter for the dinner. So I have to get, wait a couple more days and there'll be more of them that are red. And I'll show you how I make tomato juice at home. 
But everybody, I appreciate you. And I appreciate all you new subscribers trying to get me over that 68,000. I was telling on my live the other night, I go above it, I go back down, I go above it, I go back down. This has been happening for like a month. And it's up, it's down, it's up, it's down. And so, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, like the videos, um, and consider being a member. Only 99 cents. You click the join button underneath the video. Everyone, thank you so much, and I will see you tomorrow for day nine, and we're boxing up the art room. Bye, everybody.